Hello beautiful people of the internet. My name is Sarah and today I will be doing a video of some more slam poetry but I'm actually gonna approach this one a little differently today. I'm gonna lay in my lap. Boop. There you go. Aren't you comfy? Yes. So comfy. <laughs> if you didn't watch my other video I will leave the link in the description below but I'm starting a new series of having slam poetry accompanied by like a doodle or a doodle accompanied by a, a piece of poetry that goes along with it or is based off of it or is just a rant or has nothing to do with anything I also wanted to start something where I take picture frames and I do like a painting or a drawing and I put it in the picture frame and all together it is one whole piece. So I've been thinking about this for a really long time. I've actually collected a lot of picture frames and I am obsessed with like really quirky, really beautiful, intricate picture frames. Whenever I go to like thrift stores, I always keep my eye out for picture frames that are just really cool. And so I feel like I have a really sturdy collection of them going. And I want to begin to, like I said, do a doodle or a drawing or a painting and put it in the frame and have it be like its own piece. That's what I will be doing today. So I already picked out the frame that I wanted to use and sketched out my idea and I chose to do a frog today. I decided to give him a nice lime green color mixed with a little darker green and I start it from his head and I work it down all the way to his toes and then back up to his hands. The frog is in a crisscross position with his hands toward the sky as if he is meditating. Lately, I have actually been doing a lot of yoga and it is so much more intense than I thought yoga was. I thought it would be so soothing and relaxing and I mean, I guess the aftermath is, but the during duration is more difficult and more challenging for my body than I thought it would be. But I am practicing um, yoga and I'm really happy that I am. But also on the side, I've done very few meditation sessions, but the ones that I have, I have done a lot of good thinking during them. And I just sit down um, either with some music in the background or just in silence and I just listen and I let my thoughts just wander. And then I just try to corral my thoughts into kind of like a self-reflection and just think of why I'm the way I am and these things are who I am. As you can see, I put him on a nice lily pad floating on some water, whether it be a pond or a lake. You kind of can't see, but the only reason I'm leaving little white random splotches in the water is because I had sketched out some dragonflies that I want to be flying around. I find lily pads so freaking adorable that I just had to do them, um, especially if I'm doing a frog. He has to be sitting on a lily pad. That's just like just how the world is <laughs> and i also wanted to incorporate the flower that sprouts from the lily pad i really like the way that it's behind the frog because it also looks like it could be the energy that's radiating off the frog so i know i've mentioned a few series that i want to do one with the slam poetry two with the frames and now i also want to start kind of like another kind of series i don't even know what to call these like what am i doing i'm just like i guess finding my character finding whatever i like to draw whatever i like to do just my artist voice um but one of my callings is to do a lot of frog themed things um and i kind of want to start a series of like frogs doing things that humans usually do or just like frogs living human lives which i've seen art pieces like this but i just want to like do it in my own style so that is just something i also want to get into so it's kind of cool that i'm incorporating all three of the things that i want to start into one
so I originally left those spots for the dragonflies but now I know the idea and I'm just gonna go over it with some light blue watercolor and trying to give like the water a flow type feel um, but later I'll just go over the lines with uh, like a sharpie or something An epiphany that I had about water one day a long time ago, it was on a trip. I was just staring at this river that was in our backyard and I just was watching the ripples very closely and then I saw it. I saw what water is and it was just waves bouncing off of each other, off of each other, off of each other again and I just like all of a sudden was like, I get it, I get water. Now that I got the background colors all done with watercolor, I'm going to start going over the lines with sharpies and markers. So one thing that I've come to find about myself as an artist, something that I've fought with myself about and something that I've tried to overcome or like get out of instead of embracing is the fact that I am a concrete artist, which basically this means that I just really like hard lines or I really like just things that are very punctual and you can see the line um, and I really didn't like this about my art before um, I always thought like oh I'm not abstract enough or I just have to make these lines really really pop or whatever but now I've come to embrace it more so which I'm actually really proud of myself as an artist I feel like I've come a long way and I've accepted my characteristics that I do even though I'm becoming more comfortable with my style as an artist, I also do not fear the things that make me uncomfortable to do. For example, I used to be really uncomfortable doing anything that's nature-wise because nature can be very difficult to replicate and natural and comfortable looking. The conclusion that I've come to is if you don't ever face the things that you fear or make you uncomfortable, you'll never become resolved and you'll never get better. Now when I work on the dragonflies, I try to keep the look very light because as you know, dragonflies fly very softly and very fast so you can hardly see their wings usually unless they stop.
I was unsure if I wanted to add any like small details like little spots on him because I'm not the greatest at the small details but I decided to go ahead and try it so I started to put like random splotchy spots all over him including his arms his legs and his body and I'm actually really happy with how they turned out and I think he just looks even more like a frog So here I use a reference of a lily pad just so I got those stem marks correct and I think using references is very important whenever you're first starting out um, creating or making any art because it gives you a guide and it shows you what the real thing is and you're just trying to replicate it in your own little style. Once I finished my drawing, I let it inspire me and I started to write my little poem on the back and it went a little something like this. If I focus all my energy on things that feed my light, I may finally be able to use my third eye. I rock with the waves as they cleanse my soul. I know that it can be brave if I break out of this small fishbowl. I pray to the higher power even though I'm on the waiting list. For now I'll receive this sun shower as one of my blessings in bliss. The dragonflies surround my body, humming with their gut. No thoughts that veer naughty, even if we are all mutts. joining me today I really hope you enjoyed this video I had so much fun doing this drawing and the little poetry that goes along with it which is really cute and subtle if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see my continuing series and ways that it grows and ways that I struggle and ways that I just and if you like slam poetry this is exactly where you should be if you have any ideas of anything you want to see me draw in particular you're more than welcome to leave in the comment section below i'm open to any ideas you know any inspiration i mean that'd be awesome give me some ideas also if this video inspired you to sit down with a sketchbook or a piece of paper and you just went at it for just a little bit if it's a little doodle i would love to hear what you drew other than that i hope you all have a wonderful rest of y'all's day and i'll see y'all next video Bye.